Hi everyone, today's video is going to be all about how to swap a Coeco nib. For those of you who own a Coeco pen, you may have seen online that you can actually purchase spare nibs for your Coeco pen. And what that means is that you are able to remove the nib in some way from your fountain pen and put in a new nib. So not all companies do this for sure. A lot of gold nib manufacturers don't do this, like our sailors and our pilots. You are not able to get spare nibs for, for sailors and pilots. But if you see a company like Coeco or sometimes like Twisby, um, they offer spare nibs. That means that their pens have a way to take the nib out and you can easily do it yourself and you can therefore swap a new nib onto your fountain pen. So what are some of the reasons why you would want to swap a spare nib onto your fountain pen? Well, I think one of the most common reasons people look for a new nib is because you dropped your fountain pen. So if you dropped your fountain pen without it being capped or um, if, you, if it fell and rolled off your desk, I think that's a really common one actually. Um, chances are you might have dropped it on its head and the tines on the nib may have gotten uh, splayed so you would be looking to replace your nib. The nice thing about Coecos is that instead of replacing the whole pen you are able to purchase just the nib and swap the nib out in that way. Another reason why you might be looking to swap out a nib is just for further nib customization. So actually Coeco um, makes lots of different nib sizes. So they have everything from extra fine to double broad. So extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and double broad. So there's a wide range of nib sizes just in their standard nib sizes. And then they actually have calligraphy nib options. So they have, uh, if you wanted to learn calligraphy and write Roman or Gothic style calligraphy, you could swap the nib into a, a 1.0 millimeter calligraphy nib, a 1.5 millimeter calligraphy nib. They even have something called the twin nib which is like two essentially two nibs which is really cool so you get to do some experimentation with your nib sizes and if you're trying to learn calligraphy i think that's a pretty good option for you to have in a fountain pen and i think a third reason is just for um i guess it goes into the customization you can actually swap the color of the nib so when you purchase your fountain pen it comes with either a silver or a gold colored nib sometimes a black nib for coeco and you're actually able to get replacement nibs in those colors so if you wanted to switch things up and make your black fountain pen all black or you wanted you didn't like the silver nib that your fountain pen came with you can actually swap it for a gold colored nib just by following these steps so in today's video we're just going to be going over how to pull a nib from your Coeco pen and how to insert the new Coeco nib into your pen so um, it's actually really straightforward. There's kind of two different ways to go about it depending on whether you have a plastic bodied pen like the Coeco Frosted Sport or the Coeco Classic Sport Skyline Sport. If you have a plastic bodied pen like these in front of me, I have some in a jar, then you are going to have to pull the nib out from your fountain pen. And if you have a metal bodied pen like the ones on this walnut tray in front of me uh, here, so these are some metal bodied pens such as the Coeco Student. This one's a little confusing because it has plastic on it, but the grip part is actually metal. So I would consider this more of a metal pen and it does have a heaviness to it that you know it makes it metal. So if you have a Coeco Student, if you have a Coeco Steel Sport, uh, Brass Sport, AL Sport, um, Lilliput, which this one is aluminum, so it is kind of light and you might think it's plastic, but it's actually aluminum. So if your pen contains any sort of like metal parts in the body, chances are that you actually will be able to really easily screw your nib out instead of having to pull your nib out, which is a little bit trickier, but not that tricky. So let's take a look at how you would swap a nib out. Okay, so here I have in this packaging, this is what a Coeco spare nib looks like when you first get it. And I think a common reason why people do think about getting a spare nib is because they do want to try a calligraphy nib. So this one that I have in front of me here is a 1.5 millimeter calligraphy nib. And you can see here it has sort of, instead of a pointy 
tip. It has this flat tip over here, which is good for and suitable for calligraphy. First, I'm gonna start with how to swap this calligraphy nib onto a metal body pen, because that is actually super straightforward. Say we have the Coeco student here with a nib and a feed over here. Um, and it has that metal grip section here. What you're gonna do is actually put your index finger below the feed and your thumb over the, over the nib, and you wanna grip it close to the base where the nib actually meets this grip section here as opposed to pinching it on the tip of the nib because that part is kind of fragile and you want to really grip the metal section and the black feed together because they'll, they'll be moving together out of the pen. So you pinch it and you actually move, you twist the pen, um, you twist the nib out just like that. So I'm twisting this way, you just twist. And if you keep twisting, it actually will come out just like that. So that's how you remove a Coeco nib from a metal body pen. And what you'll wanna do is simply insert, because these are actually identical components, you can see. You'll actually just take your calligraphy nib or your other nib size that you wanna swap onto your pen and insert and twist the other way. And you'll see as you're twisting that it's, it's being twisted in. Yeah, and you twist until you just like can't twist anymore. It's pretty um, intuitive, I would say. And just like that, you have swapped your calligraphy nib onto your Coeco metal body pen. And the same would work. I did it on the Coeco student because it's longer and easier to grip, so easier to show you all. Um, you would do that for any of your metal bodied Coecos from your brass sport to your students to your steel sports, AL sports, um, any of the metal bodied Coeco pens that you'd be swapping a nib onto. You can just screw out. All right, so now we're going to remove the nib that I just put on to the Coeco student. And just like that, it comes out. I'm gonna put the original one back in because that was just a demonstration. Okay, I'm gonna cap it again. And now we're gonna take a look at some of the plastic bodies. So here I have a Coeco Frosted Sport in the Mandarin. I just picked some of my favorite colors because, <laughs> because what are you doing if you're not picking your favorite colors? Um, but these are, just such a good opportunity to show off some of my favorite Coecos. This is the Iridescent Sport, this is the Mellow Blue, this is the Macchiato, and this is the Mandarin and the Frosted Sport colors. So I'm going to um, show you how to remove your nib from your plastic bodied Coeco Sports. All right. So here, you're going to be holding onto your fountain pen in the same place where we gripped your, your nib um, to remove it from the metal body. But instead of twisting it, what you're gonna be doing is pulling it outward, um, and you can twist on it a little bit to loosen it, but it's not going to screw out because it's not screwed in. So um, with your index finger on the black plastic feed, just like before, near the base, near the base of the pen and not towards the tip of the pen, and with your thumb over the metal nib of the pen towards the base, you are going to pull outward. And if you pull outward, you might not be able to grip it. Sometimes they're a little bit hard to grip. So sometimes what I do is I twist on it just a little bit to loosen it and then pull it outward. So twist a little bit and pull outward. So I'm twisting and pulling, and there you go. What happens now is that the feed, this, is, this part is called the feed, and this is what supplies the ink to your nib. The feed and the nib are actually going to separate, and that's normal, don't be alarmed. You just set them aside. Now, um, since we can't 
this is our spare nib. Since we can't put it in like this, we actually have to pull out the nib and the feed again. So we're going to do the same exact thing we just did, and this is our spare nib that we just purchased. And you're going to pull it out, twist and pull. Twist and pull, and I guess I'm, I'm using um, my finger in a different section just to get a little better of a grip section on it, a little better of a grip on it. So twist and pull, and just like that, it came out. And this part, we actually aren't really gonna use because this part is lodged into the barrel of your plastic Coeco Sport. So what you're gonna do is keep these together and if they fall apart, not a big deal, they do come apart, but you just have to realign them. So you have to realign them and make sure that your feed is centered along the back of your nib like that. So if they come apart, it's okay, you just have to realign them, making sure that the feed is centered in the back of the nib. All right. So I can see that my feed is centered and it kind of fits, like if you were to put it back here, um, it doesn't really feel right, but there's actually a little stopper section over here so you feel that it stops. There's a little ridge along the plastic that stops you from pushing it further back. So you just leave it there, align these two there you go. And you're gonna leave fingerprints like all over your nib and that's gonna drive you crazy, but that's okay. You can polish those out later. Um, then you take your Coeco and some pens have a specific place where you can push in the nib and the feed, but that's not true for Coecos. So you're just going to insert it and it doesn't matter uh, where exactly you're doing that. So um, you just push it in. Okay, so we've pushed it in and oh, here you can see I've sort of misaligned it, so I'm gonna do it again. All right, push it in. All right, and then that is well aligned. The feed is well aligned into the back of the nib. And here we have swapped on the 1.5 calligraphy nib with all of my beautiful fingerprints onto the nib um, of the Coeco Frosted Sport in the Mandarin color. And so that's how you do that. Um, I guess for storage, you might want to re you might want to reinsert this nib and feed into this that you pulled out earlier just for ease of storage and so you don't lose your old nib and you want to make sure that they're aligned which they are All right and that's how you pull a nib out of a Coeco fountain pen or screw a nib out of a metal bodied Coeco fountain pen and insert your new spare nib into your fountain pen. I hope you all enjoyed this video and maybe this will help you all start trying new nib sizes and making further customizations to your Coeco fountain pens. Thank you so much for watching.